Hi, welcome to the course Cluster Analysis in Data Mining. Before starting this course, I'm going to give you a general course overview. First, what is cluster analysis? Actually, when you fly over a city, you can easily identify fields, forests, commercial areas, and residential areas based on their features without anybody's explicit training or labeling. This is the power of cluster analysis. In this course, I'm going to systematically introduce you the concepts and methods of cluster analysis and help answering the following questions. What are the different proximity measures for effective clustering? Can we cluster a massive number of data points efficiently? Can we find the clusters of arbitrary shape and at multi levels of granularity? How can we judge the quality of the clusters discovered by our system? Cluster analysis brings a lot of value to data mining. What is the value of cluster analysis? Cluster analysis may help you partition massive data into groups based on its features. Cluster analysis also will help subsequent data mining processes such as pattern discovery, classification, and outlier analysis. What roles does cluster analysis play in this data mining specialization? You will learn various scalable methods to find clusters from massive data. You will learn how to mine different kinds of clusters effectively. You will also learn how to evaluate the quality of the clusters you find and you will see cluster analysis will help with classification, outlier analysis, and other data mining tasks. Cluster analysis has its broad applications. For example, for data summarization, compression, and reduction, like image processing or vector quantization, you will need cluster analysis. For collaborative filtering, recommendation systems, or customer segmentation, you will find likely-minded users or similar products by cluster analysis. For dynamic trend detection, you will find clustering stream data and detecting trends and patterns will be very effective. For multimedia analysis, biological data analysis, and social network analysis, you will find you may have effective methods to group audio, video, clips, and finding clusters of gene protein sequences. Clustering analysis is a key intermediate step for many other data mining tasks. For example, you want to generate a compact summary of data for classification, pattern discovery, hypothesis generation, and testing. You will need cluster analysis. You want to find outlier detection. Actually, outliers are those far away from any cluster. In this course, the major reference of the readings is my own textbook published in 2011, which is Data Mining Concepts and Techniques, the third edition, published by Morgan Kaufman. In this book, we will only use two chapters. The first is chapter two. Actually, we mainly just cover section 2.4, measuring data similarity and dissimilarity. And then chapter four is a major source related to this textbook. The textbook of chapter four is a major source related to this seminar, this lecture, called Cluster Analysis basic concepts and methods. Other references will be listed at the end of each lecture video. For the course structure, uh, we will have six lessons. Lesson one is cluster analysis and introduction. Lesson two is similarity measures for cluster analysis. These two lessons form the first module, module one. 
Then class lesson three, partitioning based clustering methods, and part one of lesson four, hierarchical clustering methods part one from the contents of module two. Then the part two of lesson two, hierarchical clustering methods part two, and lesson five, density based and a grid based clustering methods from the contents of module three. Finally, lesson six, clustering validation forms the material for module four. For general information about this course, I'm Jiao Wei Han. I'm a professor in the Department of Computer Science, University of Illinois at Brownie Champaign. I'm the instructor. We have some teaching assistance on the web to help you. The course prerequisites is as long as you are familiar with basic data structure and algorithms, you like to work hard, you're quite okay. For course assessments, we have in-video questions to help you understand the course materials. Then we need you to pass some minimum requirements for lesson quizzes and to programming assignments. Thank you. Hope you will enjoy this course. Thank you.